and welcome back to The Sims 4! And we are here with Tate, sitting outside of his absolutely gorgeous little greenhouse! Look at all those little bugs and everything that's inside of there, I'm so happy about that! But he is sitting at his brand new picnic table that he was able to buy with his sturgeon money, and eating some nice shish kebabs with a fork! <laughs> So he's having a really great day and we're going to try to work on his herbalism skill today because he's still churning away at it kind of slowly so we're going to have him build up his herbalism skill. Zoe is still very excited to be engaged but she's also very tired and here's Blue, their adorable little live blue slug. I think we might send Zoe off to space just to see what would happen. And Holly is outside playing with her siblings which is just a great day. Let's see what's Ash doing. Working on getting, oh, nope, nope, Ash, come back. You're so close. He just needs like one more motor skill and then he will have achieved this level of the rambunctious scamp skill. Let's see. Oh, just everybody's having a nice Saturday night. The kids don't have to worry about their homework till the morning. Tate, no, you put that down. I'm going to feed it to microbite. You don't worry about that, Tate. And the adults are just kind of relaxing. So let's see, brew herbal remedy. Let's do, let's see, what's a soothing skin balm need? A locust and walking sticks. <laughs> oh, I don't want to like, oh, let's do deodorizing creams that we can give to the ladies when they go to the gym. Because uh, there's a lot of exercise that needs to be done for Lily. Oh, look at that new grill. What do you think about that, Tate? He just got a fancy new grill for his fancy new greenhouse. It looks awesome. I'm really happy with it. This is the most expensive grill you can get. And since Tate basically caught fish that are worth as much as that grill, I figured it was fair to let him kind of have some fun and try brewing some remedies on a really fancy grill. Ooh, he just made another excellent remedy. Yes, and Ash has now completed that level of rambunctious scamp. Now he needs to make it across the monkey bars three times, earn a high score on the typing game, and achieve level 10 of the motor skill. Wow! Also, he wants to become friends with Van, and I'm going to pin that, but let's remember that Van was the evil park ranger that he met on vacation, so I'm a little concerned about why he wants to be friends with evil people, but I'm not going to question it, and we'll just roll with it. And then I'm going to have Tate brew up a few more remedies. Oh. And let's see, Iris has taken a nap too. Nice, well this, this is nice. Everybody's just kind of chilling. Nibbling their food. Holly, do you want to paint something? We'll let Holly paint some things. We decorated her room a little bit too with the little crystals that she found. Oh, I know, we can have Holly since we have found out that she actually loves collecting the, the like plants and rocks and things. <gasps> yes, and Tate's at level six of the skill. He can now brew the clear mind distillation and fire leaf extract remedies. Sweet, so that'll be some new remedies we can have him work on. There you go, Tate, proud of you. I think we can identify the unidentified plants now. Oh, we also apparently have a mysterious time capsule. Let's open it up and see what's inside. A violet, hmm. Oh, and we have, I almost forgot, we have a new cowberry plant. So we're going to need to plant that little cowberry plant in a second, too. All right, so we've got the unidentified mushroom. And let's see, there's like one more unidentified flower. So we're about to complete this level of the outdoor enthusiast. I'm really excited. All right, Tate. Let us know. What is this mushroom? Nibbling, nibbling, <gasps> it's a moral, yay! So we figured out the unidentified moral mushroom. And now we've got a fire leaf, yes, mission, milestone complete. So what's next? Achieve level 10, sleep for five nights in a tent, and collect 15 insects. Oh, easy peasy, we've got that covered. All right, Tate, you're going to go ahead and... Brew the clear mind distillation. I guess that like calms everybody down. So that'll be kind of cool. And then let's do the deodorizing cream again. And Holly is going to run around and she is going to collect the various crystals and the various fossils and things that are out because it turns out Holly loves collecting those kinds of things. Not really the frogs, she's not really so much into the frogs, but the minerals, the crystals, the fossils, anything like that, Holly enjoys collecting. So we'll go ahead and let her get started on that. 
run behind Bailey's house and pick up what we can find. Yay! Oh, there's a person. Karma Lade. Dang! And she's wearing, like, the plum bobby earring. She's, like, going out for a night on the town. Gonna go party. I wonder what she's up to. Oh, yay! And Zoe's awake! And just dancing her heart out. Oh, and Ash is trying to be, like, mysteriously playful at her. Alright, so Zoe needs to level up her charisma skill. So, do we have the charisma book? I'm pretty sure. Charisma 1... Can she learn anything from that? Let's see if she can learn from the, the level one charisma book. She can. All right, because I feel like we've really neglected poor little Zoe. Oh, Holly just found some quartz. She's gonna bring home all sorts of fun plants. What's going on out here, boys? Uh, The boys were kind of stuck. I wonder what on earth they got up to. All right, and Iris is awake. She still wants to complete some milestones and eat. Let's eat some tilapia. Let's feed Microbite. Our little, our awesome little trash can. He's so cool. And then we're going to get this kid talking. I just don't know. When does he age up? I think he ages up like tomorrow. Pine, I don't think we're going to be able to make it happen, dude. You only know two kids. I mean, we'll, we'll chat with Bowen. But I think he's going to be like, I can't talk to you. It's getting really late. I feel so bad. I guess we'll just have to try to complete the other things. Because he just, Pine wanted to be social and he just couldn't complete that aspiration. So I feel kind of bad for him. All right. We're gonna, ew, it's really messy in here. I can't wait to have a teenager because then they can help like clean up. All right. Uh, take a shower. Oh, she found rose and quartz and all sorts of fun crystals today. I think we're going to make a little pile of her crystals on her dresser because that sounds like something she'd do. Wow, they're pretty. And a little bit of platinum. Look at these. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. My goodness. Okay, so we're going to lift them up to dresser height and tuck them in various spots around her dresser. There we go. Let's see, let's put the, wow, like this is going to be a little bit tight. Because they're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Can I shrink them? No, but I can make them huge. No, I don't want huge crystals. I just want normal size crystals. All right, we're going to put this behind the rainbow fish. And then, let's see, raise this one up. Can I put this one like behind the frog and like move the frog forward a little bit? Maybe. I kind of can. There we go. And then put this piece. Okay, that's going to try to snap back. So we'll lift this piece up. And nope, nope, nope. Don't snap there. Don't snap. Ah! Okay, we'll just let it snap behind the frog for now. There we go. So Holly, our little collector, bringing home more awesome little gems and things. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's another. Did she just... Is this a rose? No, that's the quartz. Oh my gosh. Like I said, our little collector. My goodness, where'd it go? <laughs> Fudge Knuckles! Holly, I lost it! <laughs> you just gathered it, and I just, I just, I tossed it to the abyss somehow. I'm sorry, Holly. I have no idea where that went. It just went poof. Holly, I'm sorry. It was so pretty. I'm so sorry, darling. Oh, and she got a little time capsule, so we'll have her open that up when she gets home, too. But her room, now that her personality is coming out as she's getting a little bit older, we know she's a collector, she likes painting, she's a wee bit more social than we gave her credit for. It's fun to see... Oh, are you energized scrubbing it? Go, Iris! Good mama! Um, it's good to see her personality just kind of emerging a little bit more as we get to know her better. Ah, uh, 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 miss, I don't think you're done. Get back to reading that book. Come on. If you want to gain that charisma skill that you need, then you need to sit down and focus. Come on, focus. She's like, I'm too playful for this. I can't focus on this. No. Come on. Maybe she can't learn anything more. No, she's just playing with the book. My gosh. Oh, what a silly girl. Zoe's so adorable. We really should send her off into space tonight just to let her do something. Oh. Ooh. Why are you very uncomfortable? Why is your tummy upset? Don't be pregnant. You're not allowed to be pregnant. I would know if you're pregnant. Don't be pregnant. Iris. All right, let's have her go ahead, change into her everyday. And... Resume. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to paint. Well, her husband 
is what are you doing Tate he's like stargazing and wandering around Tate can now make the tummy the tummy uh, therapy if we get a little bit of sage so let's send Tate down to harvest up the sage which is over here and dying I think or is this it this is it all right let's have him come over here come on nope don't purchase seeds you silly silly nilly all right let's have him harvest this and then he'll come over and make the tummy thing once he harvests it. And Iris can come outside. She can't even tend the garden. She's that uncomfortable. But she wants to play with her son, who's sleeping. Iris, priorities. Huh, what are we going to have her do? I guess we could have her just, like, come sit out here. Oh, we got a little chef. Um, maybe let her light this, actually. Try to, try to relax. I wonder why her tummy's so upset. Zoe. Zoe! You have to study if you want. Maybe we need the level 2 charisma book. We'll buy her the level 2 charisma book and see what happens. Purchase books. Actually, do we have the level 2? I feel like we do. I wish there was a way <laughs> to double check what books you have. Logic, logic, logic. A lot of children's books. Logic. Cooking. Quadruple rainbow. Quadruple rainbow even. And skills, charisma two and three. We'll buy both because I know she's going to want both. And let's have her go ahead and try the science of diplomacy because she's actually wanting to go and become uh, kind of like a, a peace spreading person <laughs> in space. That's a bigger book. That's a much, much bigger book. I think it's over her head. Zoe! <laughs> Yeah, that's too too advanced for her. All right, that's it, Zoe. Get back to studying. I know you're a very playful personality, but you've got to focus. All right, I think she's off to focus now. Whoa, apparently Iris is like working out. You just had an upset tummy. How'd you get fitness level, what? Don't distract Zoe. You have no idea how distractible she is. All right, come sit at this, sit, sit here. Relax, where's your husband? Using that observatory again. Tate, come over here and brew the tummy therapy because your wife's tummy was feeling a little upset. And then we actually need to have Iris and Tate work. Oh, sweet, and you can use it, yay! And she can like roast uh, beetles, oh my gosh. Veggie dogs, marshmallows. I'm gonna have her just roast a little marshmallow and kind of relax. This is so nice that they were able to bring this part of going out on their outdoor adventure back home. Yay! All right, Tate. Oh, he looks so cool back here. Mixing up his various herbal remedies. Is it burning? Are you doing it right? It's so weird. They just, I feel like they would taste so nasty. And we're going to have him and his lovely wife work on tending the garden because there's a lot of garden to tend. I wonder if she's getting cooking skill from her like schmores. Oh, you're so cute. I wish we could do like, I, what I would really love is if there was some sort of way that you could contribute community upgrades to the various slots so that you could be like, let's upgrade this area with a rare, oh, she did eat a s'more. That's so cool. Oh, that made her really happy, too. But it would be really cool if you could be like, I have some rare seeds. I want to donate them to the community garden. And you could, like, put them in. Um, or just, like, add, like, uh, maybe a, a fireplace over here. Maybe mm. we'll figure out how to edit the world. And we'll have the family, like, buy things. And then we'll get rid of them somehow. <laughs> like, just stick them in the family inventory forever. And... It would be really cool to be able to upgrade the town. I like that idea. All right, Iris, you're going to help out. Water this poor little dying plant. Yay, Lily's home from work. And she has brought home $1,608. Lily. Oh, and she was bored from work? How could you be bored? You're like traveling into the depths of space, my dear. In fact, let's send her out to the depths of space. Let's explore space. I think that her lovely Zoe... Zoe, you keep reading. Oh my gosh, she's actually focusing. I think she couldn't focus because the music was on in here. Don't distract her. It's a rare moment. 
Zoe's actually able to pay attention to her work. I'm so proud. So proud. We're not buying a TV. You can be funny with... Uh, ooh, ooh, definitely upgrade that handiness skill. No problem with that. But I, I like sending them off to space at least once a day when they're astronauts. Because it just makes sense, you know? Alright. My gosh, and... Watch out, Tate! Oh, I'm glad he doesn't have to worry about, like, getting hurt by that. Once they finish tending to the garden... Then we will have Tate plant the little cowberry plant. And so we'll name this cowberry plant Small Craft Spotted. Lily is biting, just biting into her astronaut ice cream sandwich when she spots a small craft that seems to be hailing her ship. Is someone in trouble? She blasts in for a closer look. Oh, so exciting. I can't wait to upgrade the ship even more. Look at Iris all strutting around so happy. But I'm trying to figure out how we're going to name the latest cow plant. I think I might tweet it. Space Duel. As Lily draws closer, she realizes that the alien spaceship is piloted by a three-eyed, sixteen-tentacle alien who is grinning too much to be in real distress. Claiming to be the best starfighter in the universe, the alien challenges her to a duel and offers a substantial award. Let's accept it. Let's just be wild. Come on. Let's do this. And hopefully not die. There's always a chance you could die, which would be very, very sad. Tate, get over here and tend your garden. You've got much garden to tend. I'm actually thinking about, like, installing a mod, because... <laughs> duel! No two space duels begin the same way, but this alien seems to have a plan. With a wave of his tentacles, he zips for off, <laughs> off toward the horizon, and then turns his starfighter to face Lily's. Lily does the same, pauses, then veers back to charge the alien ship. The duel is on! Oh my gosh. Be safe! Oh my goodness! Alright, come on, Iris! What? Are all the plants, like, okay? Can you evolve them? Okay, start evolving them. Sorry, guys, we're, like, veering between a violent space duel and then, like, just tending to the garden. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh, who's this? You're very, very pretty. Are you a teen? Jocelyn! Jocelyn! I remember when you were a teen. She was actually, uh, like, Pine's friend as a teenager. Let's see. Spray for bugs. And let's harvest all. Not going so well. You, Lily uses surprise, her surprise advantage to land the first hit, but it goes downhill from there. Note to self, never duel an alien with 14 more hands than you. The extra-handed extraterrestrial unleashes a wall of missile fire. And judging by the smoke and warning lights, Lily's ship has been hit. Should she retreat or fight to regain her edge? Uh, let's fight to regain our edge! I really hope this goes well. I've never seen a space duel, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Meanwhile, her brother is just quietly... Like, tending to things down here. How's our tree? It's a good uh -huh. spliced, uh, spliced apple tree. Apple, pomegranate, and plantain. I forgot it had that many things. It's a draw! Lily recalls a nifty trick. Pursing her lips, she lets out a shrill alien mating cry. <laughs> That's awesome! The egomaniac pilot turns two eyes on the horizon and one on his mirror. Losing sight of Lily just long enough. Lily lands another hit. Tying the scores, the clock runs out. Impressed, the alien says they should fight again soon. Lily heads proudly home. <gasps> she got a live space squid! Yes, Lily girl, I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Alien mating call. Oh, that's just, that's just too awesome. Come home, Lily girl. And there's, oh my gosh, look, it's our little alien squid. <gasps> I'm so happy we have a little squid. Put the skull there, put the little squid here. He's right next to the dead squid. That's not, that's not morbid at all. Sorry, little guy. Sorry, little guy. Oh, I feel kind of bad for him because he is stuck next to like the preserved specimen of a squid. Oh, he's so cute. He's just so freaking cute. I love him. I love him. Okay, I'm, I'm pleased now. All right, so Lily is on her way home. Does she have work tomorrow? She's returned from exploring the cosmos. She has work in 15 hours. So she does have work tomorrow. I think, well, oh, she's feeling super duper playful too. From a exploring space happily. So I think we'll send her upstairs to sleep, get some snoozes. Uh, her brother has leveled up his herbalism skill, which is great. And he's still tending his garden. Not gonna lie, I love having such big gardens. I think that I might get a mod just so they garden a little faster. Um, but not, like, too fast. And let's go ahead and we're gonna plant the little cowberry plant that we got. So let's find where... There it is. 
There it is. We're not going to eat it. That's not what we want to do. We want No, don't eat it. I wonder what happens if you eat one. We're going to plant it. It would be really cool like if you got cow horns or you like got cow splotches from eating a cowberry plant. That would be awesome. Let's plant the little thing. Look at how cute it is. It's just adorable. All right, little one. There you go. You've got your own little spot to be nice and safe now. And there we go! Normal little cabaret plant. Let's fertilize it. Let's see something. Do we have something that's like excellent fertilizer kicking around in here? Oh, uh, but will it tell me like if it's excellent fertilizer or something like that? Do we have... Do we have any fish? We're out of fish! Tate, since when are you out of fish? That's so odd. So weird. So weird. Um, quality normal... Let's get, we'll catch a fish. We'll catch a fish and fertilize this little thing with fish all the live long day because it's adorable. There you go, little one. All right, I'm back to tending the garden. But all right, guys, I will see you all next time. I think what we will try to focus on is to get Zoe to be friends with some people. I think she definitely wants to at least throw a little wedding party. Maybe we'll just have her randomly run around, greet Sims, invite them to the wedding. And if they show, they show. If they don't, they don't. And then she can make some friends from there. So we'll have her greet everybody. And when's Lily's next day off? On Tuesday. So I think Lily might have to actually call in and have a day off today. Because, like Sunday. Because I think today is going to be their wedding day. Yay! And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.